Anybody else got anything you want to ask about or play? Well, or... If no one else wants to, yeah. I wanted to ask you about what you told Caroline about your personal amplifier. I play with my acoustic violin and I've got one of the pickups that Matt Bell recommended me, which is the KNA pickup. It has a quite a natural sound and it is wireless, so it gives me a little bit of freedom. But in terms of like EQ, I don't know, like kind of tone the sound and all of that, I don't know what to do. And I, ha I don't have my own sound gear yet. I plan on getting one or two Bose S1 Pro uh, speakers that I think are pretty good quality and have a little bit of an EQ in them, but I don't know what I have to get. And what I've just realized from the, the last gig is that I have to know my preferred sound settings before going to the gig because I always make the shortest sound check ever and it doesn't work like there. So what do yeah. you say? Yeah, absolutely. Glad you asked it. Well, first of all, an actual, like a sound technician, like scientist, people will tell you, and if you ever go on the road with a high level thing, every room is different. So that's why we do a sound check in every space. Technically, if you really want to be covered, you want to get, you can have like a basic level of what you think your sound is, but it's going to sound different in a bathroom than it sounds in the woods. If that means you have to get to the gig two hours early and do a sound check and dial in the room and go out and check it out and deal with that, then that's what you have to do. It depends how much you're getting paid and blah, blah, blah. And the more you do it, the more you'll just know it. You'll know, oh, if I'm in a bathroom, I need to do this and it's only going to be so good if I'm in this, if I'm in this dry room that I can do this, but it is about you taking control of your sound, definitely. And that includes mm -hmm. figuring out the right gear. So speaking to the gear, if you have the Bose speakers or if you have an amplifier, same thing. It's like your speakers. But then within that, you usually will have some kind of EQ settings on the amp or on the speakers where you can adjust low and high. Mm -hmm. So you need to just experiment with lows and highs and realize that it'll be different in different rooms. The next most important thing, you probably need is a volume pedal and reverb. Reverb is for the dead spaces and a volume pedal is so that you have control over your volume, unless you have a volume knob. Either way, you want to have control over your volume because sometimes we want to be able to decrease. Otherwise, I back up from the mic. You, We need to control our volume when we're amplified because it's not the same as playing acoustic. And probably you need a preamp because just going directly to an amp from your pickup may not be as good as if you have some warming like filter that goes to the amp. And now actually my effects pedal and my loop pedal, they both act as preamps. So sometimes people talk about a preamp as something that makes you louder, but they also talk about it as something that makes you warmer. And I'm guessing that you want something that warms your sound. And so this is like between the violin and the amp or speaker. So that might, some people have a direct box and that does it, or it's like a preamp direct box or something like that. It's just a lot of research that goes into that. Like, obviously you can ask Matt and he'll tell you or anybody at the EVS, they can go and do a deeper dive. But like, I basically know, but then it's just which one do I want and what's best for me. So I have a multi effects pedal where I get my volume pedal, my delay, my octave for my bass, like distortion if I want it, you know, but I don't need all those things, but I do. And then my amp has reverb. So if you get the Bose, it might have a good reverb, in which case you don't need to have reverb. But if it doesn't, then you need a good reverb unit because that's yeah. essential. So basically EQ, reverb, volume control, ideally a preamp, and then you're good to go into an amp. Ultimately, you might want to get a multi-effects pedal. Before you even get a, a loop pedal, I would probably get a multi-effects pedal. Now, here's the thing. All that gear is expensive. But if you know for a fact, this is a tool for my trade, like this is, then it's like a car. It's like those, these are one of the only things that we actually should put on a credit card, financially speaking, because it's like literally an investment in something we absolutely need to do our jobs. We still want to be conscious about it and just be really careful in researching it and asking people like Matt or whoever. So did any of that help? I don't know if you know the question, but... And do all those things work also with a wireless system? 
Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no. And I think getting only what I need and that's why I don't I have my own speakers yet, sure. but then it is, I was with the mentality that, oh, I like my violin and that's all, but actually no, because whenever I'm amplifying, people are not hearing my violin, they're hearing the sound that is amplified. And I always ask for the place to give me the speakers and some of them sound like awful. And it's a pity, but that is my sound. That's what people are hearing. So yeah, thank you so much. My pleasure. Yeah. yeah.